Hello, my friends. Welcome to another episode of Diablo 3. My name is Wilfred. So this uh, week's challenge riff is rather interesting. I enjoy it a lot. Uh, it is the Necromancer new set Masquerade of the Burning Carnival. But uh, of course, the riff is uh, pretty low, 45. Uh, for those who have been curious about how this set plays like, I think it's a good introduction uh, to, to how this set is like. And I do quite like the way that uh, this person is uh, shaping up the, uh, the build itself. Now, of course, you know, none of this can be applicable, applicable to high rift because you just lack of the uh, DPS required. However, it is still fun at this level. So what it does is that, of course, you know, with the uh, Masker of the Burning Carnival, you got to summon your Simonara crumbs. So button number one is what you need to summon. Uh, but uh, the person also use a golem, whereby the golem will shed the uh, the corpse as well. So your uh, basically your you can you can do a lot of like uh, devour on those corpses and get your essence back. So you don't need to worry about the essence of the uh, bone sphere. And also uh, this person also used the last rune of the bone sphere, which add the uh, the health cost to it, um, so as to. Uh, to make the bone sphere more powerful, so I thought eh, that was rather interesting as well. And uh, I mean, I don't really use a lot of seven blood because I don't really need to recuperate my essence. But however, I mean, there's an option there. Should you, you know, have a problem with that? Uh, basically, you just keep walking and keep bone spearing. Um, you know, that that's what you need to do in this challenge rift. If you have friends to play with you, that's even better because uh, the timing would be much much uh, more fantastic when you do that. Uh, passive why the person actually. Uh, blood is power, so um, you know every corpse that uh, you you consume, uh, you there's a there's a, there's a there's a health globe being uh, being kind of like a spawn, and then there's another another passive whereby if you consume a health globe, then they will re remove the cause of the um, you know the uh, the blood skill uh, as well. So you know as you know this uh, bone sphere does uh, require the health cast. So as and when you co consume a health globe, then you can can have all these like uh, goodies so uh, all in all very enjoyable and uh, as you can see the timing is pretty, pretty straightforward mainly because I've been really familiar with uh, this set as well so I'm pretty conditioned to the fact that you just keep moving and keep shooting uh, but I, I find it really enjoyable whereby I don't need to worry about essence uh, just keep shooting and uh, that is what uh, it's supposed to be and uh, that's towards the end of it and uh, you know you, you could you could play around with this uh, challenge rift just to get to experience what the new necromancer set is like but like i said i mean you know this is this build is not going to be fit for end game uh, just not enough dps however i mean you know it, it, it is a really good kind of introduction i would say uh, i have a lot of fun um, you know using this build um, so let me know in the comment box below how you like this um this setup uh, do you is it the first time you experience the necromancer new new class set and uh, if so what do you think about it uh, do you like it uh, do you like the gameplay itself it's in bone sphere and uh, and a bit of like you know thinking behind all this like uh, essence and so on yeah all right cool so that's the end of it i managed to get the challenge rift done up really really good timing as well so if i can do it i'm pretty sure you all can do it as well enjoy talk to you later <laughs> bye bye